Okay, so here's what you're going to want to do. Got this top part of the envelope um, as its own symbol on its own layer. So you can turn off that layer, you can see it. It's an instance of letter top. This part is just artwork in the bottom layer. Okay, so let's insert, let's say it's going to take about a second. So I'll insert some frames. Here's what you're going to want to do. Instead of trying to go like this and tween it, I'm assuming this is what you were doing. Yeah, that's what's probably happening. Don't, don't fight a, a, a losing battle, okay? You have the first half of the animation uh, or the first state of the animation and then this part where it's closed, okay? Let's actually make it close perfectly. Okay, we can close the color panel. You want to go from here to there. Go to the middle point somewhere. Uh, since uh, the middle will be here at frame 15, I'm going to go back one maybe and hit uh, create a keyframe. Okay. And now, instead of going beyond the sort of horizon line at the bottom edge, Go to like pretty close to it, and now here create another uh, in the next frame. Create a keyframe, and now from here move it down this way. Okay, basically invert it vertically. Now this is what you want, right? Uh, in fact, I'm going to add a little bit of easing in with cubic and easing out with cubic, and now when we play it. It closes. If you want to make that quicker, you can always just adjust the number of frames taking place. But you get the idea. So that's what you want. So yeah, don't fight it or don't uh, try to get the tween to do what it was never really designed to do. But if you just trick it into making it do what you want, it gets easier. Hope that helps.